Well guys, it's day three and it's my first day to go to the parks and I'm going to Hollywood Studios to see Galaxy's Edge for the very, very, very first time for me. I'm so nervous that I almost feel nauseous to my stomach with excitement. I've tried to eat breakfast to calm down. Not so much. <laughs> I'm so excited! It is 8.57 in the morning. The parking lot will open at 9 a.m. And the park will open at 10 a.m. And I'll be trying for a Rise of Resistance boarding pass. It's morning time, and the park's not open yet, but I had to say good morning to Gertie. Good morning, Gertie. Now I'm gonna head for the shade and look for a boarding pass. I'm shaking, the camera's probably shaking. It's almost time and I can't wait. <laughs> so nervous. I still have a chance at two o'clock if I don't get to him. I didn't just get in guys, I'm in group number one. So I'm going to head that way over to Rise of Resistance for the first ride of the day.
and it looks right as I enter is the cue for Rise of Resistance. So I was nervous, but this is best morning ever. You stop here for a bit, but it's so neat to see the immersion and hear the broadcast from the Rebel base. This is that horrible suit from The Last Jedi that Finn wore. Walking around looking like a fishbowl leaking. Welcome, recruits. Hello. There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields.
job recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! Okay, I'm not shaking in anticipation now. Now I'm shaking because I could hardly get my seatbelt off at the end. I was so excited. I had so much fun. So glad I made it on. First ride, first park of the trip. Rise of Resistance. This is where Chewie and Ray come out. So they, it's probably why people are standing around.
And here is Doc Ondor presiding over his collection. Thirteen minutes in line, and we're actually entering the queue. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a brief delay as our cast members perform cleaning procedures for all of our slinky trains. We will resume operation in just a few moments. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience and understanding. Then the leaders are. Look ahead, Daniel Miles. 
Slinky Dog Dash, wait time of 44 minutes. When I was here last July, the wait time would get over two hours, so. For your safety, please keep your face covered on at all times. Please keep your coffee together, abide by the queue markings, and maintain physical distancing between your party and members. Remember to wash your hands frequently throughout your visit, or use the sanitizer dispensing. Okay guys, it's day one in the parks at Hollywood Studios. I've gone on the first boarding group for Rise of Resistance. I walked all around the two. I've walked all through Toy Story and rode Slinky Dog Dash already. So two popular rides already done. And I have a lunch reservation for the Brown Derby at 1240. So I'm gonna head that way. I see my destination in sight. The Hollywood Brown Derby. Time to go check in for my reservation. with Disney you always have to look down or look up this beautiful tile floor with the BD for Brown Derby. I ordered the Malibu Beach that comes with a glow cube that you get to keep as a souvenir. I've also ordered the Cobb salad and grapefruit cake. Keep in mind while dining at Disney World, there will always be families both happy and sad. Here's the Cobb salad from the Brown Derby. It came out with everything finely chopped on top. And then the server asked me if I wanted it all stirred together, which of course I did. So now I'm going to dig in. Wouldn't think chopping everything up so finely would make such a difference, but this salad is delicious. Mm. <laughs> it's 
blue raspberry and lemonade. It's a little tart, but it's a good drink to cool off in the middle of the day. It almost looks too beautiful to eat. It's layers of cheesecake and cake in this fruity syrup, and it's divine. That right there is all I could make it through the cake. It is so rich and delicious and absolutely divine. And this is just from the other side so that you can see that brown derby on top. You do need reservations right now as capacity is kept at a minimum. Just had lunch at the Brown Derby and it's a little bit different of a shirt now. <laughs> I change shirts in the middle of the day just to help with the heat and the sweat. Just helps me get through the park. The Municiburg Incredibles celebration is closed off so there are no more num num cookies. Not to be had in Florida. Well, what did the barrel of monkeys eat for breakfast?
a barrel of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool. It's the first time I've seen the Mr. Potato Head. I usually go through the fast pass line, so. Wait a everyone. Now you get this four points. Last summer when I visited, I was not able to do all three rides, so it's exciting to knock out the entire land in one day and get to enjoy it so much. This is the opposite direction I came this morning. This morning I entered from Streets of America into Batu. Now I'm entering from Toy Story Land into Batu. And there's the milk stand. It was so busy this morning, I didn't even notice it. I will be saving my blue milk and green milk when I visit with my husband, and we'll probably try one of each. 
We'll be passing Olga's Cantina, which has stayed booked up the whole time I've been here. Unfortunately, happens when you plan a last minute trip. But it looks like we are down to 45 minutes on the wait time for Smuggler's Run. So I'm going to go ahead and get in the queue. Oh my God, this is so amazing. I'm gonna go drive the Millennium Falcon. Just saying. Oh my goodness. I gotta admit, I loved Rise of Resistance, but the Millennium Falcon's my jam. I was born in 76. It's like somebody left in a hurry. part of this trip is actually going through the queues. I've always only done fast pass rides all day long because it's always so busy at Disney World. So to actually see some of the queues is pretty fun. It's breathtaking. I'm just saying. Breathtaking. I hope the film's not shaking too much because I'm too excited. Oh, I'm in the 
to the pod races, as they call them. Kind of like listening to football on the radio. <laughs> if you're a Star Wars fan. Well, so far today, I have done all of Toy Story Land all of Batu, as well as already ridden a lot of my favorite rides and had lunch at the Brown Derby. It looks like the clouds are coming out, so I may have to find somewhere to park my scooter now. But I'm still going to walk around and have fun, even if it does rain.
right. I think I'm going to see how many times I can ride Star Tours in a row before I'm sick. find on our second trip. <laughs> trip number two. All right, I've done the Ice Planet Hoff. I've done the planet from Last Jedi with the Death Star and then on to where the Crystal Cave was. So let's go see what trip number three is going to be. So here we are, trip number three. All right, my friends, three times in a row for Star Tours is all I can do. That last one, though, was perfect. We saw Darth Vader, we saw the Death Star being built, and as we exited, Boba Fett set off a bomb. <laughs> it was wonderful. So that's all I can do, though, with the motion ride three times in a row. That's my limit. Next trip, we'll have to see if I can break it. hidden Mickey. between Lightspeed and the Millennium Falcon and Goofy losing us on the railway. <laughs> it was getting late in the day, so time to return to Batu yet again and ride the Millennium Falcon. That's it. The kissing nook. At least that's what I call it.
I'm headed toward the rock and roller coaster. And hopefully I get there before it pours down rain. And of course you exit through the gift shop. For the first time ever, I have made it from park open till park close. <laughs> of course, they're only open 10 hours right now. Kinda helped. <laughs> oh. But I've had best Disney day ever. Rode the Millennium Falcon three times, rode Rock and Roller Coaster twice, Slinky Dog Dash, everything in Toy Story Land, Toy Story Mania, the Swirling Saucers, all of it. <laughs> Did Star Tours three times, which is something I've always wanted to do as well. <laughs> Just had the best day. Started off with boarding group number one on Rise of Resistance. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of pixie dust from a Texan. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel, Texie Dust.